Born in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, American radio host Rush Limbaugh dropped out of college after just two semesters. Limbaugh's mom reportedly said he flunked everything at Southeast Missouri State University, including a modern ballroom dancing class. She once told a reporter that her son didn't seem interested in anything except radio. Leaving his studies behind, Limbaugh moved to Pennsylvania and landed a job as a top 40 radio DJ in the early 1970s. After several years in music radio at stations around the country and a short stint as director of promotions for the Kansas City Royals baseball team, Limbaugh returned to the airwaves as the host of his own radio talk show in Sacramento, California. It was there that he began to broadcast his conservative views. Four years later, he was offered a position in New York City, and the Rush Limbaugh show began airing in syndication in 1988. Limbaugh's show soon became the highest rated radio talk show in the country, with an audience of more than 13 million listeners each week. His popularity spiked in the 1990s as he frequently expressed opposition to former President Bill Clinton. But despite his broadcasting success, numerous awards, and two New York Times bestseller books, Limbaugh struggled with personal issues in a public spotlight. In 2003, he announced on his show that he was addicted to prescription painkillers. And three years later, he was detained at the Palm Beach airport for carrying Viagra that was not prescribed to him. The charges were settled out of court. Limbaugh, who holds an annual fundraising telethon for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, has been married three times. His last relationship reportedly ended in 2006.